Owens versus melanoma, in situ versus pageants. Oh, yeah. Um, nipple or genital site makes me favor pageants. Really good and kind of spitting into the stratum corneum as well. Yeah. And here it's pretty subtle, but you can begin to see ones that have little blobs of mucin. So you can do stains like Mucic Carmen to highlight that if you want. But they're, they're basically trying to form little tiny ducts and secrete some mucin. So that's a good clue sometimes if you can find those little ducts. Or sometimes they'll even cluster together and actually make ducts inside the epidermis. Like maybe it's trying to do that here. So yeah, this is Paget's disease, um, which I've talked to you guys about before. Uh, cytokeratin 7 is usually my favorite stain for that, although there are some other complexities depending on the site and stuff like that. Paget's disease, and I think this one actually had focal invasion. Oh, there. That's a suspicious, at least. I mean, that could connect, but I start seeing little buds going down. I want to look carefully to make sure there's not invasion because pageants can, like extra mammary pageants in the genitals, can sometimes invade and can sometimes behave more aggressively when it invades. So it's worth uh, keeping an eye out for. And of course, in the nipple, um, uh, it's underlying breast cancer until proven otherwise because the majority of cases have underlying breast cancer of pageants in the nipple. Another clear cell bones. Yeah, this is also Bowen's disease and uh, squamous cell carcinoma in situ. Kind of like that one I showed at the beginning, although much more prominent vacuolation here. And this is probably the total clearing of the cytoplasm is probably glycogen related, right? You can see again that nice eyeliner sign right there. And look, if you just had this, if you just had that, you could certainly wonder, could this be a really robust pagetoid melanoma or something? But once you see it filling the whole epidermis top to bottom, melanomas just don't do that, okay? I mean, like the, I've seen only a few times where melanoma had areas of full thickness atypia in the epidermis and those times like where it was basically consuming kind of the epidermis there was obvious melanoma back in the background and invasion and nesting and all the stuff that tells you it's melanoma clearly a subtle melanoma in situ in my experience never going to do this so once it's full thickness i don't feel like i need immunostains here this is to me clear cut squamous cell carcinoma in situ with clear cell change here's an area that's less clear cell atypical mitosis and there it's kind of tangential here, cut at an angle. Um, and uh, again, look at, you can see the nice eyeliner sign right there. Perfect. So pagetoid, uh, squamous cell carcinoma in situ slash bones disease with clear cell change. And there's pagetoid pale cells here, but they're not filling the whole epidermis like we saw with the squamous cell carcinoma. And they've got a little bit of light brown pigment. So this is an example of a uh, pagetoid spread of melanocytes. So this is melanoma in situ. And it's important to remember that this can mimic squame and pagus disease, of course. So immunostains can help you sort that out if you need. But here, I think it's pretty straightforward that, to me that these are melanocytes.